Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC West matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. One team is coming in here on quite a roll. Hasn't lost in more than a month. A five-game winning streak entering this one. Yeah, you hear me say it all the time. It's almost impossible how hard it is just to win one game in the NFL. Now you've won five in a row. That tells you everything. The coaches believe. The players are getting it done. I think they're going to be very tough to beat here today. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The 49ers come out in the pistol. Now first and 10. Gore is taking the handoff. He's in the clear, tackles made. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. They better hurry to get the snap. Gore to the right side. The half was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Well, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. The 49ers are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. after picking up the first on the ground. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Got a little crease. Breaks away. Breaks out of that one. Impressive piece of running by Gore. We watched him in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. The 49ers now inside the 20. A week ago, they converted time and time again inside the red zone. Play clock's running down. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second down coming up. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Can't hold on. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. Third 
and 10. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. No doubt about it. Good three on the board. There's nothing like being ahead in a football game, no matter how many points it is, because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. for the defense here. Play action. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shot. The football was incomplete. Regular, regular. Second down following that incompletion. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Bringing the play to an end. Well, the quarter route. Some people call it the quarter route. They call it a flag. Run to the flag of the end zone. Or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the wide receiver. And a good throw by the quarterback. Palmer's got it in the gun. Going across the middle. Forgot to catch the football. Well, he dropped the football. And there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Runs out of bounds. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Just a quick drop back. Throws to the right. Oh, should have had it. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. coming out to the 20. Ohio, Ohio. Now in first down. The give to the running back. Breaks the tackle. He's got room. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took it a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Setting up screen, makes the grab. Taking off. Tim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards.
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Kaepernick's got the football after the play fake. And one Bolden with the catch. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. McDonald's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and 10, will go ground, taking it right up the middle. That's a gain of seven. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. up in the pistol formation second and two he gets it again on this drive they get to him just in time one yard shy of the first down this team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone this is a nice change up they fool them well they thought they were going to fool them with the run but it only gets a short game we're back here in this low scoring affair down here offense trying to pick up the first and the second quarter is underway with this snap good job that time by the offense they pick up a first down inside the 20 yard line now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points First down here after the run. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's scrambling down. He steps out. And now they'll try over again on second down. Play fake here, throwing now to his left, puts up six. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. Signal for fair catch. They'll take it at the 20. The Cardinals lined up. Everybody split out wide. First down and 10. Makes the catch. Jim, that was some job of making the catch and holding on to the football. You could hear that hit all the way up here in the booth. 19, 7, 19, 7, 19. Following that completion, second and short. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good run that time. It results in a first down, and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Staying with the running game on first down. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and 10. Reaches out and grabs it. A foot race to the end zone. The 30, the 20, the 10. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. 
Let's this go. play Let's set go. up by the long gainer. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Picked up three. Well, when you get it this close, it'll be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the four. He makes the catch. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Left round, left round. Ohio, Ohio. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First and 10, quarterback drops back, play action. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. This will be second down. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Under pressure and incomplete. Nickel formation here for the defense. Tight ends in motion here. Third and ten. This is a screen play all the way. The tackle is made, and that's a three and out series for the offense. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a 49ers official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. on this play first and ten he'll fire it out to the left pass is made and it's incomplete the hit jars the ball out Defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second down and ten. Right where it had to be. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Makes the reception. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Two-minute warning. Going to get set in the slot for this snap. Gets away from the pressure, looking to the right side and throwing. Inaccurate with that one. Third and 
27 following the incompletion. Palmer is going to take it from the gun. That catch gives them a first down. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate. But there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. They ought to award him four if he makes this. distance it's such a demoralizing thing when a kicker misses a field goal attempt if he would have made it it would have tied the game the momentum would have been on their side everybody would have been excited but look at him now everybody's down the 49ers lined up bunch formation first and ten He'll fire it out to the left, and that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Second down and 10. Frank Gore gets it here. Gain of seven. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw plays because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback and nobody's prepared for the run. Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Third and three. Trying to work that left side. Games 16. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. They've got a first down now after that catch. First and ten. Hand off to the back. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Second down here, Kaepernick from the gun. Eyeing that left side. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. Third down now. Here we go. What? None. What? None. Ohio. Ohio. Let's roll. Let's roll. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Gonna take off with it. Picks up about eight. The 49ers use another timeout here, and they have one left. Allen's in the slot. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 
first and ten. Got a little screen set up here. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Touchdown, San Francisco. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Cardinals now move the chains. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. Well, if you want to be a good play action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That That's, that's about as easy as it gets. Cooper's lined up in the slot. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This is a route that's not run enough in the NFL, the corner route. So many times, receivers just go across the field, they go short. But when you make these double moves like that, you get wide open. And what a throw by the quarterback. Sally 19! Sally 19! Sally 19! One more snap in halftime. Out of the shotgun, looking across the middle, zeroed in on that one. That wraps up the first half here in the city by the bay. And we'll be back to San Francisco after the break for the start of the third quarter. We're back here now. This is the NFL, and if you want to win, you need to play great. Average just doesn't cut it. Guys, let's see if they can be great here in the second half. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. And Fitzgerald's lined up now as a slot receiver. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. And he'll step out of bounds. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and two. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. And Fitzgerald's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The Cardinals get a first down. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. Looking to the right side and throwing. The Cardinals now move the chains. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. That reception gave them the first down. Action fake. The Cardinals get a first down. It's up six. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. 
if they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Gains 13. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Challenging the touchdown and drawing close. Well, it's first and go. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. Head on, right there at the 20. Frank Gore is in the backfield. and 10. Eyeing that left side. The 49ers. Ball's on the ground. And it's a takeaway. That brings the play to an end. Great job by the defense. Forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there. Forcing. And the hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. First and 10. Moreno's got the ball is jarred loose and the recovery is made by the defense the defense comes up with the big play the hit and the recovery of the football uh, they sure did they got so much speed on the defensive side and that speed when you think about it it gets more people around the football it helps you deliver the hit even harder and that's why they got the turnover great job got to give the defense some credit on first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick from the gun. Trying to work that left side. The pass doesn't find a mark. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. When you see the cover two defense, you've got to know where... throw the football he did not and that's why the ball goes incomplete Kendall Hunter is in the backfield Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun the tackle is going to be made but he's beyond the first down marker that's a nice play that time by the offense getting the first down they're up here in the second half and they're moving the football that is a great feeling they've got a first down now after that catch going to be a tackle for a loss when you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! Second down. 
Gores handed the football. Gain of two. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Trying to beat the play clock. Kaepernick still has it after some nifty play action. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Should be a routine punt. Picks up only two. Well, that time he only gets a couple yards. And if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. First down. It's handed to the running back. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The defense comes out of the dime. Zeroed in on that one. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Jim, they call that a post route. Do you know why? Of course you don't know why. The wide receiver is running towards the goal post, so they call it a post route. This play set up by the long gainer. Gets away from the pressure. He's got room. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. When you're on the defensive side, you just cannot lose containment even on a quarterback. That time they pressure him in the pocket. He takes out. There's no containment on the outside. He gets out there. Nobody open to throw it to. They face first down. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down following the run. Palmer sells the play fake and looks downfield. 
The Cardinals now move the chains. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. First down here after the completion. Here's the running play. Off tackle. And gets the first down. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. downs now after picking up the first on the ground challenging the defenders to the right side well you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field play tight man-to-man -man coverage it takes perfect throws to get completions not there that time the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive second and ten and incomplete. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Play fake here, looking for an open receiver on the right. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. stop him from running it out to the 20 mark him down at the 19. first down here and the give to frank gore has some space to work with. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run, and the defense being too aggressive. They're over-pursuing, so you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Second down now. Quarterback drops back, play action. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Credit Daryl Washington with that tackle. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job by this offense. They need to get the playoff. Kaepernick still has it after some nifty play action. 
And he is Buckner at the 39. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Coming up, second down. Kaepernick turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run. And now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Gore is taking the handoff. Holds him to seven. Two-minute warning. Ohio! Ohio! Black round! Play Black number round. six coming up on this drive. Second down, three to go. Four. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. At that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Allen's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and six. Going for the home run. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Play action on the run. That brings the play to an end. The Cardinals signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. This game is all tied up and it's headed to the wire. Second and goal from the five. Frank Gore gets it here. And moves ahead for about four. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. The long drive continues. Pretty goal from the one. Back to the ground. And he's in for the touchdown. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The pass complete. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is 
I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Let's go. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Almost intercepted. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Cooper's a receiver in the slot. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. That pass was heard. Head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official. Patrick Willis's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Takes the knee. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end, and what a game it was. Nothing like being a little greedy in this league as the win streak adds another victory to the column. Oh, you're right there. When you're talking about winning, everybody wants to be greedy, and there's a reason why they're winning. They're hitting more than the other team. They're hitting harder. They want it more, and a lot of times will has a lot to do with the outcome of NFL games. It's nice when you get down near the goal line, Jim, and you can run it in for a touchdown. That's why we're going to call this the play of the game. It showed a lot of toughness. of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.